Hello, guys. I was able to do the tub thing that I talked about. You got all the components in the tub to the jumping barrel. And I think that's the first time you've seen the barrel painted. I haven't. I painted the barrel over the course of a few, of a week or and a half or so. And I haven't put that vlog all together because I didn't do it all at one time. Let me give a better explanation of this. I know a few people have said, oh my god, that stuff looks so complicated. Well, it really isn't if you kind of separate the components, okay? Everybody knows what the power strip is, so just ignore the power strip because all you're doing with the power strip is plugging stuff in, okay? So ignore it completely, okay? You have, this is a pneumatic prop, okay? So you have to have air to run your prop, correct? So air in, so this will go, the compressor is that way, so I will just plug that in so air can go in. Air goes through, you have to, and put it through a regulator so you can regulate the amount of air pressure going into the prop. Let's see if that's, well, that's almost a little too bright. So you can regulate the amount of air pressure. You, you spin this knob and turn the pressure. It's got a plus or minus, really easy. And then through your regulated air then goes into, into your valve. This is a five-way valve. You don't really need a five-way, but you just go to the air end, and it has little arrows on here, actually. That's like, hey, air goes in here, and it's got little out arrows. Easy, okay? <clears throat> this plugs in because it's, it's, it's an electric, electric um, solenoid valve, a solenoid valve. It's electric. So, you know, one of those is plugged into here, like I said, but, but forget about that. Then you've got your air coming out, but one pushes the cylinder, the one underneath here, this little cylinder guy. One goes in the top and one goes in the bottom. So your air goes in here and then these two basically just go to, to your actual pneumatic cylinder, one in each end. One makes it go out, one makes it go in. And that's, that's it. I mean, seriously. Air in, air out to run your cylinder. I mean, it, it's, it's actually that simple. Now, this animation maestro that I bought at Midwest, this is a key banger. This just goes to the power to, to, to run it. It's got a normally closed, normally open circuit, circuit, and the trigger. So I have it. I mean, you can choose whichever one you want. Okay. Normally open means your 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 prop is not activated. Okay. Open circuit. It's it's not connected. Closed circuit is it's 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 got current going through it. It's it's activated at that time most people do normally open and then when someone hits your trigger whatever that may be that activates your prop so normally open and it tells you right there that's normally open that's normally closed you just put your wires into there for activating my my valve here on my valve circuit open so it's not making the barrel jump okay and then your trigger goes on this end, which is just my step mat, two wires, boom, just into the, the two little things for the trigger. Step on the mat, closes the circuit, makes the cylinder go off, which opens this up for the air, makes the barrel jump. And this is a push button controller, which is super easy. It's got a record button. You hold down the record button. And then you hit the little activate button to make the barrel jump. So jump, 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 jump. Hit the record button again, and it, it saves that program. That's all the programming there is to this thing. I mean, super freaking easy. Um, and you really, if you're scared to try it, I was scared. The Our trash can trauma was my very first pneumatic prop, and it scared me to death. So... Um, I got it. I understand. 
And uh, so there it is, all inside. I probably just made everybody more nervous about pneumatics, but I'm telling you right now, I am not a technical guy, and the pneumatic is so freaking easy, completely. So so easy, a Steve's hundred yard can do it. So, or yard hundred five, whatever you want to call me. And uh, anyway, mission complete on that and I am going in the house because it's really freaking hot out here and it's late and I'm done for tonight with projects I just really want to get that project box hooked up to that oh look at this these are those uh, metal sign things here let me turn my light on those metal sign holders it's on the side of the side of the road today full free full free I got two screens for free right there, and that big mambo jumbo piece of piece of PVC. So there it is.